Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. I'm Paul Mates from Redman TV. I'm here with Chris Peterson. Chris, uh, you must be absolutely buzzing to be over in America. It looked like you weren't going to come and then you've put in some great performances and, and you're here. Yeah, it's been brilliant and I'm really enjoying myself. As I said, I can't really believe it, but all I have to do is now stay focused and really keep working hard and um, trying to keep performing. Is that something that Brendan Rodgers sort of instills in the players? Is that it's about your, it's the mental side of the game as much as you as, as the physical ability on the pitch? Yeah, definitely. You need to have all things in your locker to play for Liverpool and trying to understand what you really need to do to be here. And it's all hard work. Like talent takes you somewhere, but you need to put in the work. And uh, now I really realised that, and, and I won't stop now. No. Is that, I mean, it's been noticeable in the obviously the Bromby game. You got you got your goals and against Preston as well. It is it's that it's that work rate that you're putting in on the pitch. Is that something that you've always had, or is that something you've had to work on? No, I definitely not had it before when I was younger. I played in a Sunday league team in, back in Sweden, and I was the guy just walking up there, you know, waiting for the ball and complaining if I didn't get the ball, <laughs> you know. But now I'm a different person and a different footballer, and uh, and that's what Liverpool give you. That's why I choose to move over as a 16-year-old because I, I wanted to learn everything what it takes to be a footballer and I'm really trying to take everything on board that coach has been telling me through the years and, and it's starting to pay off and I've been really appreciate everything that I've been given through the ranks here in Liverpool. What, is it, what did it feel like to get those goals in, in pre-season? People who score goals, doesn't matter if it's on the league or first in football, it's, it's no better feeling than to do it in front of a crowd, especially the Preston game where the crowd, Liverpool fans were on that side. Of, it's it's in, undescribable, you know, but it was, it can't get any better, mate. Are you still, um, are you still rooming with Ryan McLaughlin? No, uh, we used to live with each other, and now we've got our own separate apartments, but we're still very good friends. Are you texting him to tell him, are you getting on over here? Yeah, yeah, we've been texting each other, yeah. Of course, just uh, some more, some more uh, laid-back ones. Are you, uh, are you a FIFA or a Pro Evo man? I used to be a pro when I was a kid, because it was better on PS2, but now... You need to be a FIFA player now. Uh, Everyone playing FIFA. Yeah. I, I asked it. I asked Ryan this as well. Have you ever made yourself better on a game? I never been on the game. Really? Well, when I, when I was at Tranmere, I was like f for a month on the game. Then they took me off. So <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never been there to did be you, honest. So did you, did you never put yourself in as a kid? Maybe as a really young kid. But me and my friend Joachim, we used to like put fake names and like make them 99 and everything but we, we never really put ourselves into it yeah. so uh, obviously you must be looking forward to the rest of the tour and obviously the, the season as well it looks like what Brendan Rodgers has got going is that players who, who prove themselves are getting given opportunities so you must be hopeful if you can keep this up then you know perhaps a chance in the Premier League this year yeah that has to be the aim I mean aim as high as you can and work for that and like see where you land but that has to be the aim uh, to play in the Premier League and um, gives you motivation. He he inspired the man, the gaffer. He inspires you every day to really trying to uh, to go for that aim. And it's, it's no reason to stop. Uh, I will just keep digging in and work as hard as I can, you know. And and if the chance comes, I'll prepare myself to to take the chance. And lastly, who's the uh, who's the most difficult player you come up against day every day in training? Uh, that's a very tough one. Martin Skirtle is a hard one. When he plays a strike, you know, he's always up there on you, on your back heels and that. He doesn't, doesn't, doesn't do a training. He does it, is it 110% yeah, even yeah. in practice? I, to be honest, fair to everyone, that's like, you, you can't do 90% in a training at Liverpool. It has to be 110%. Otherwise, you'll be told, you know, differently. So everyone knows that. That's why it is special to be here because... I will have that in the rest of my career, the, the mentality that you get get at Liverpool, and it's it's something special. Perfect. Nice one, Chris, and, and good you. luck for the rest of the season, mate. Thank you very much. It's been fantastic so far. Thank you. Cheers, See you later. Man. Bye. Bye.